Watchies, this is Tiffany. I'm Michaela. so finals are over, and you know what that means. APN is back with show 12. Let's get this show on the road. Are you the 21st century Charles Darwin? Instead of a new bicycle, are you hoping to get the Calvin cycle? Well, have I got news for you. Registration is now open for students who want to take the Biolympiad National Biology Test. Go over to S201 and talk with Mr. Jones for more info. Speaking of science, B-Money has good news about our very own Science Bowl team. Last Saturday, our Science Bowl team won first place at Nationals, qualifying them for Nationals at Washington, D.C. Science Bowl is a Jeopardy-style competition where players and teams answer questions ranging from biology, chemistry, physics, science, astronomy, and we answer using buzzers. And this year's regional competition was exciting because we won uh, by the last question. Once we got it right, we all burst out of our chairs. I made them cram like the energy topics when we were reading about power plants and like geothermal energy, and it came in handy over the competition. We got lots of points for that. But what happened was that we questioned. It was something that I I just studied the night before, like before I slept. So we answered the question correctly, and everyone just kind of jumped up and cheered, and we won. Congratulations, guys, and good luck in April. This is Brenda Chen for Patchy News. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Brenda. Girls, you better start asking your guys because Sadie's is just around the corner. So, uh, John, um, uh, you, you want to go to Sadie's with me? What? You must have conscious. I would have go with myself. And plus, my heart belongs to Cat. Ah, oh, hey, Cat. She's so stupid. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Subconscious. We are through. I never want to hear from you again. Bye bye. I can't believe he just kicked me out of his mind. If I had a body, then I know I could get him back. What a beautiful day. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Now I can get John. Perfect. <laughs> Man, I am so nervous. I hope I dance better than last time. What? What? So we're gonna have to fight for John? Yep. It's okay, John. It's okay. In the meantime... <laughs> Will John really go to Sadie's with himself? Will he ever find out what happened to cats? And find out next time on Sadie's 2011! Can't wait to go to Sadie's. <coughs> Anyways... In other news, a number of trees were cut down in Arcadia last week, causing a bit of controversy. Here's Amanda Large with more. Thanks guys. Many of you might have heard of the trees being cut down in Arcadia a few weeks ago, but do you really know why they were cut down? The LA County Department of Public Works plans to remove coastal oaks and sycamores in the wash just below the Santa Anita Reservoir to allow muck to be dredged. The 83-year-old reservoir recharges underground aquifers used by Arcadia and Sierra Madre for drinking water. Last dredged in 1993, the reservoir operates at limited capacity because it could not meet state seismic standards. We should have been given more time to um, analyze the situation and address the problem because it was kind of one of those a little too little, a little too late. The damage was done. There were other options also. Um, for example, a lot of the sediments could have been trucked elsewhere, but the only complaint was that it could have been more costly or that citizens didn't want like loud trucks. I don't even think that it was necessary to cut down all the trees. I mean, we could have maybe saved some of them, but to really build out all those trees. I mean, these are historical public property, and I think the public should have been able to have more of a say. I disagree with cutting trees, but in this situation, we need to have the water, so I think the best way is to move the tree to the place where the construction won't be fixed too much. So by then when the reservoir was fixed, we can always move the tree back and leave the rest of them there. That way we save the tree and we have water. Do they know what really happened? What side do you choose? This has been Amanda Larsh reporting. Back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Amanda. Attention all juniors, sophomores, and freshmen. Go pick up your PSAT results at the Career Center if you haven't already. Remember to bring your ID card. Don't delay, do it today. 
Ready to get on the road? Well, AEF will be offering driver's ed February 14 to March 29th during zero period. Go to aef.aesd.net to download the necessary forms or pick them up in the administration office at Mrs. Harvey's desk. Want to join Pep Squad? But don't know how? Then check this out. student this year, maybe this will change your mind. Oh, je voudrais ne, des jours heureux où nous étions amis. En ce temps-là, la vie était plus belle et le soleil plus brûlant qu'aujourd'hui. Les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle. Tu vois, je n'ai pas... Mmm, French guys. Hey, Michaela, I was wondering, do you like sports? <laughs> if we talk about the Lakers, then yeah. Uh, what about Jason and Lions? Eh. Well, too bad, because here's Jason and Lions with sports. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? for some sports because we got lots of it this week so once again are you ready for some sports no sports 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 sports, sports! boys soccer they play against Crystal Valley and they lost 0 to 4 yeah oh yeah here's a soccer story with that nick guy and I know how much you guys love him. <laughs> Thanks, Lions. Though boys varsity soccer lost against CV last week, they redeemed themselves against Hoover on Wednesday. The Hoover players were so overwhelmed by Arcadia that they were tripping over balls. Again, again, and again, again, and again. Here's some great saves by Adam Peacock. Rejected. In the end, Hoover was crying over their pitiful game. Arcadia won 4 0. Great job on Nia and Hoover. Be sure to come out and support the next game. It's been Nick Park. Back to you guys. Now it's time for boys basketball. They defeated Mir 60 58. Good job, boys. They also lost to Crescenta Valley, losing 56 61. Who what about Hoover? Hey, Albert. Tell him what's up. I'm Carmelo Anthony and Boys basketball played on Monday against Hoover. Let's see how they did. Here's a pass from Karen to Legacy. And his three point shot. Boom, boom. Good try by Legacy. And here's a two point layup for Arcadia. Nice steal by Karen. And here is a dunk. Wait, wait. You can't dunk. Now here's a three man play from Wisden to Legacy and an alley hoop to Perez. Good stuff. Perez, good stuff. Good luck to you guys next time. Now here's the Asian Carmelo Anthony for another update. Hi, I'm the Asian Carmelo Anthony. Girls basketball played against Pasadena this past Wednesday. Let's see how they did. Joy passes to Okamoto for the three. Dana dribbles down court, sees Joy passes for the two. Again, Dana with a nice assist to Okamoto for the three. Another nice shot by Joy. Mm, facial. And he goes in for the slam. Back to you, Lions and G. And now it's time for girls soccer. Let me throw it out to Christine Zhang for more on that. Thanks, guys. What's better than playing League of Legends all day, watching them soccer girls? Here are the top five games. Number five. A team effort with number seven trying to almost barely hit it into the goal. Gameplay number four, an assist from number one. Gameplay number three, with number eleven barely making it into the goal. Uh, gameplay number two, with our girl Rachel kicking it into the goal. Final gameplay number one, with Chloe Torres 
hitting it into the goal. Let's take it in slow. You don't want to miss anything exciting next time? We'll go out and support them. This has been Christine Day reporting for Apache Sports. Back to you guys in the studio. So, Jason, though, where is Billy? He's dead. No, I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> oh, you had me going right there. <laughs> well, that's it for sports. This has been Lies Haggerty. This is Jason Chu. See you later. Yeah! Peace, mode. Oh! Thanks, boys. Interested in joining the coolest club on the block? Then go join Live Oak Library's Teen Book Club on February 7th at 6 p.m. February's book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Call 626-446-8803 if you have any questions. Hey, Michaela, are you excited for Spirit Week? Yeah, because senior class has the most spirit. You know I wouldn't be surprised, but this is what happens when you sell your Xbox 360 for a Super Nintendo. It's vintage, alright? You know there's a difference between vintage and broken? Remember, there will be no school Monday due to staff development, so enjoy a three-day weekend. Bye! Bye.